Hey everybody, I am John Barker and in today's episode of Here to Record Show and Tell, we're going to take you through how to control the audio mixer in your ATEM with a MIDI controller. So to make this happen you'll need an ATEM, we have the ATEM Television Studio HD and you'll also need a MIDI control service like this Nano Control 2. So first things first, I need to put a big old asterisk against this one and say that the functionality is built into the ATEM but you'll get the best results if you're only using one source of audio or if you're just using the XLR input on your ATEM. If you bring in audio from separate cameras or separate uh, audio feeds, then this may not be the way for you. So to get this all working, you'll need to set your Nano Control 2 into service mode. And this is done by holding down the set and rewind buttons before you plug it in. So once you turn it on, you'll see the uh, rewind button flashes and that's how you know they're in that surface mode. Then you can launch the ATEM software control. Make sure you do this after you plug in your uh, Nano Control surface. And we'll head over to the audio section and you can see here as I move some sliders in my uh, nano control you can see those same sliders being moved around in the ATEM control surface. You'll know right away if it works or it doesn't. And now like I mentioned before you need to make sure you're only using that one source at a time otherwise things go a bit crazy like this. I'm just moving a few sliders around and you can see the audio follow video they're going on off uh, all sorts of things are happening. So using one input source at a time is the way forward. Lucky for us we use all of our audio through one camera so we can use that one slider to control the audio for the whole conference or event. Next up we'll take a look at the XLR and the mic section in the ATEM software control. So by pressing the track button once on your nano control surface you'll go into the rightmost section of the audio panel. Now we're using the slider 1 and slider 2 to control mic and XLR on the ATEM software control. We can also use the M button to turn these channels on and off. The nice thing about using this side of the controller is you can move both at the same time and things don't go crazy like they did before. Sadly you can't actually affect the master control so I think it's best just to leave that at zero and then use a slider to control the XLR uh, audio levels. Something that I'd love to see in the future but um, just for now it doesn't seem to be built in to this uh, configuration. So for the pros of this whole setup you have a really cheap device to control the audio within your mixer and you have real buttons you can grab, you can put your hand out and pull down that slider if, uh, if there's feedback or if somebody's talking and they shouldn't be. And a couple of the cons, like I mentioned before, it can be a bit quirky so sticking to one slider uh, is really the way past that. And another con I would say is that you have a lot more buttons than you might need uh, within this uh, control surface. So you might want to look into a different nano control or a different MIDI control surface altogether. I just know that this one works with it so that's why I'm recommended this one. So overall you might actually already have a MIDI controller lying around that you can uh, you can try this out with and let me know how it goes with that. Otherwise you can buy one of these on Amazon for about £40, $60 so not very much money at all. I hope you found that useful and I really hope in the future that this functionality becomes a little more robust and uh, a little more usable. But for now, this might just do the trick. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.